Hey, Pastor Bob Guerin here. This past weekend, we heard a great message from Pastor Rich about change and how to adapt. Sometimes change is difficult and change can, can be very hard for us to move on from. And I know from personal experience, having gone through a whole lot of change, sometimes you want to hold on to something from the past because you're not ready yet for that change or, or you're not ready yet to release it. So we rely on people to encourage us and support us and comfort us when we're going through those changes. Oftentimes it can feel like we're alone and, and that's not good. So the, the support, the pillars we have as friends and, and family and our, our pastors in our church, like Pastor Rich and I, we are here for you when you're going through that as encouragers to walk alongside you. So check out this clip from Pastor Rich from his uh, message on Sunday. And if you want to watch the full message again, or if you haven't seen it yet, I definitely uh, encourage you to watch it. There's a link down there in the video description. So ask yourself, is there a John Mark in my life? Is there someone that I can speak into their life and say, I believe in? By the way, it doesn't have to be somebody younger than you. It doesn't have to be somebody uh, less experienced in life than you. Am I willing to be a Barnabas? Well, the second thing that I want to remind us about as we think about this idea of encouragement and how that helps change somebody, we cannot forget that ultimately... It's the power of God working in our lives through the Holy Spirit that changes our lives. God is in the business of changing lives. And if you truly believe Him, then change is, is inevitable. Paul writes to the Philippian church, and this is a famous verse that many of us have committed to memory. Philippians 2.13, For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to His good purpose. You will change if you allow God to do the change in you. The Holy Spirit works in your heart and your mind constantly. By the way, when we become a Christian, we invite Christ to come into our life. And guess what happens? The Holy Spirit takes up residence. He never leaves. He never leaves. Now you have an opportunity to either listen to the stirrings of the Spirit in your life, or to reject them, or to ignore them. But the Spirit is there. And if we, if we recognize the Spirit, He is going to continue, and, and recognize and yield to the Spirit, He's going to continue to make you a new and better person that pleases the Father. Scripture tells us in 2 Corinthians 1, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us, in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So we might not be experiencing change ourselves, but at some point in our lives we have, or we will. Because of that, we can, as scripture says, comfort those as we have been comforted. So if, is there someone who you can comfort, who you can encourage, who you can support walk alongside, mentor, and, and help them move past their sticking point and, and through their pain and grief. If you need prayer from either Pastor Rich or I, please reach out. I will also put a link to uh, connect with us right in the video description. Have an awesome day.